Hello, I'm Tiffany with Anne's Homemade Crafts, and I'm so happy for you guys to be joining me today. So I think what we're going to do is cut two soaps that I did the other day. So one of them is going to be a black berry, ras black raspberry vanilla, and the other one I used a kind of like a dark musk. It has really good deep dark notes to it for men. <clears throat> so I think we're going to cut that one today as well. Looks super beautiful and I did both of those videos just the other day and I thought we'd cut them today and also um, I do apologize the other day while doing one of, my, one of my videos I realized I said I was going to show you guys two other soaps that I had cut previously before and I failed to do that so I apologize and if you wait just a few minutes we'll get that rolling and I will show you guys what those look like and how they turned out. Okay, so here's what I promised the other day in the video and I failed to share. I made cute little pencil soaps. I apologize, my kitchen's a little dark so trying to lighten it up a little, but I went with a cute little pencil theme <clears throat> and thought it would be really cute if um, people had a way to appreciate teachers. I know everybody's trying to find different ways. So I thought it would be a really fun idea to make cute little pencils. So um, you can't tell the difference very much on, um, on my lighting because it's not great, but a little yellow up here, slightly orange, and then it carries in through the different colors. So there's that. And then I have also done this one before, and it did really well, so I decided to do it again. And these are cute little apples. So these ones smell like an amazing, red, delicious apple, just as if you were to bite into one right, right out of the garden. Um, just a really crisp fragrance to them. Um, and the pencils I did in a very light Japanese cherry blossom. <clears throat> so those will be ready for sale. Um, I'd say probably right around um, mid-May. I think that's when usually Teacher Appreciation Month is, if I'm not mistaken. <clears throat> Alright, so let's get ready. And we're going to cut those two I did the other day. Those wiped off a little bit. So, I think I'm going to tackle the black raspberry and vanilla first. So there's kind of how the top came out. So it is a light purple. I was hoping for more of a darker purple. You can kind of see how dark that purple is here. It is a little darker in real life and opposed to the camera. But let's uh, take it down and cut them out. Oh, perfect. So, I'll cut them both before I show you. Get these off a little bit so I don't transfer and pull from one to the other. Here's the second one. Down real slow. And I'm wearing gloves again today just to make sure that um, the saponification process generally lasts about 48 hours. Um, so that just means that my soap still currently holds lye in it until it hits that process. Um, and essentially, once you get my bar of soap, there is no more lye in it. Um, the lye is totally consumed by the oils inside the soap. <clears throat> so, let's take these out and see what happened. Oh, oh, I like that. Oh, those are pretty. Um, yeah. Let's go, let's go this way. Oh, 
gorgeous. But those turned out really good. I think I like them. I did do a little bit of poppy seed on the inside. Oh, there we go. There we go. Like the little swirls and such. I think those turned out perfect. I could not have asked for anything better. Oh, this one's even cooler. Look at that. I think that's gorgeous. Let's see if turning on the light changes anything. No, I don't think it's going to. Oh, bugger. They turned out really pretty, though. <clears throat> Pull a couple of these apart, and we'll see how they how they fared. Oh, that one's kind of cool. That one did a little little swoosh swoosh. Isn't that neat? So what I did was I filled each half individually. Um, at the same time, I put a cardboard insert down the middle. Um, if you remember from my previous video, I put an insert down the middle, <clears throat> filled both sides up, and then um. Took a little, um, what are they, the Chinese, the little sticks for eating, the chopsticks. I took those and um, I just did a little soup soup. And, uh, hmm. Isn't that just adorable? I think that's turned out really good. Okay, let's put this one away and we'll go grab the other one and see how that guy came out. I'm gonna give it a quick wipe here. So, I was kind of hoping how, that's kind of how I was hoping it would turn out. Um, this may have come out better than I expected on this one. Let's see what happens. Oh, I don't want to peek. I mean, I want to peek because I'm super excited. But, I don't want to show you guys yet, or myself, until we cut the other one. So, same thing with the other one. That one turned out. That's the top. I love it. Love it, love it. Oh, look at that one. The little, oh, it's gorgeous. A little wet yet, a little, a little soft. But this right here is gorgeous. I'm absolutely going to love these swirls in here. I think it laid out really nice. So yes, I would say this is about what I was hoping for. Um, I know a lot of the other soap shows you watch, they probably have it down to close to an extreme science. I, however, do not. <laughs> so, um, I have everything else down close to a science, you know, as far as, um, making it, mixing it, um, knowing what my outcome would be, um, as far as cl colors and, oh, oh, I love that one. As far as colors and variations, um, that, that part still stumps me, but I think it turned out amazing. I think this one is my best one. Look at the 
last couple and yeah so they still turned out wonderful so these are going to be part of my men's line and i think i'm going to go with um midnight musk i think is what i'll call this one midnight musk it does it smells really good um i think that's i think that's where i've landed at for this one so this, the second bar I didn't show you yet, didn't have as much as a swirl in the first one because that was towards the end of the bucket. Um, I had actually poured the other one first and this one second. But I mean, the swirls in there are still just amazing. Oh, right now it kind of has a slightly funny smell. Um, but give it about a week as it starts to really go through its curing process. Um, I think those fragrances will, will perk up. Um, I had that with my Egyptian musk before. Um, so, oh, look at that. <laughs> I had that smell go happen with my Egyptian musk before. And as some of you already know, my Egyptian musk is one of my best sellers. Um, I've made that a handful of times already um, for my Egyptian musk soap. And that one goes quite frequently. Um, the Egyptian Musk fragrance, which is not this one, but the Egyptian Musk fragrance that I have in my soap almost reminds me of that fragrance that dates back to the early 80s. Um, my mom used to have like a really fragrant musk and that smell is just ultimately what reminds me of that. <clears throat> I think that is all I have for today. So I want to thank you guys and I appreciate you watching. Um, I am hoping to make a couple more videos between now and the end of March. So keep watching for the extra stuff that I make and hopefully I'll put it on. So until then, I appreciate you guys and have a great day. Bye.